Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm going to do a brief video here on fatty acids, the omega-3, um, omega-6, and omega-9. Uh, I do get a number of questions on this and I feel that this is a very important topic. So please watch this entire video uh, so you'll understand pretty much everything you need to know about omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9 in fruits. This video won't be too long. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead. So berries are always my number one choice. People wonder why I eat a lot of berries. I may not eat all three types every day, but I do eat at least blackberries once a day, uh, and sometimes I will do, usually do two of these three. Uh, for example, yesterday and today I did raspberries and blackberries. Sometimes I'll do blueberries and blackberries. But blackberries are the highest, so I'm going to show you that here in a moment. Blueberries also contain a lot, and so do raspberries. They got to be fresh, not frozen, not dried, and please don't blend them and destroy the fruit. Chew the fruit. Uh, if you need to blend a couple of these, you're just easing into the uh, detoxification process, and you're coming from a fast food diet, and you want to do this for 30 days. Uh, these are very low glycemic, and you could actually blend a small amount of these. However, don't blend all of your fruit. I've mentioned this many times. Uh, fruit actually contains fructose, but if you blend that, you're going to separate the fructose and the fiber, and it's not going to be good for you down, down the road. Uh, in the beginning, sure, it's better than eating your, your current diet and what you're doing now. It's better than doing any store, pre store processed juice, whether it's cold pressed or whatever it is that they're, they're selling nowadays. I've done it all. There's nothing better than chewing your fruits. Okay, so with that said, let's go into the uh, next page here. Blackberry breakdown. Here we go. Look at this, folks. So, blackberries are one of the fruits richest in omega-3 fatty acids. And if people don't know, omega-3 is something that everybody needs, okay? Because omega-3 is the one that's actually going to reduce the inflammation in your body the most. Most people are getting omega-6, but they're getting it from oils and all this other nonsense. Folks, you don't need the, the oils. If you're doing a little, like I said, sal in the beginning, you want to use a little bit of avocado oil, um, you know, that's probably going to be your best choice. I mean, look, when it, when it comes to health, you need fresh living foods. Humans are fruitarians. This is the reason I'm showing you is you're going to get everything from fruits. You don't need to be in all, on an all-fruit diet your whole life. But the point I'm trying to make is I know I'm going to consume majority of my diet fresh fruits forever and that is because it has everything in it and you got to eat the right fruits that is key just because you're eating mangoes and you're eating bananas that's fine but you're not gonna you're missing out on all of this this is where people are not getting the health benefits and then fruit can actually potentially get the bad rap that people always talk about that it's missing things no it's not missing it's the person's not consuming the right foods. There's a big difference. Just as you eat a standard American diet, you can miss everything as well. But everything on that is harmful and causes inflammation down the road and is acidic to the body. It leaves an acid hit where this does not. Okay? So, a one cup serving of blackberries contains 135 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids per serving. Now, I eat 12 ounces minimum a day of blackberries sometimes 18 or 24 depending on the day. So I'm getting a ton of omega-3s. So the polyunsaturated fat content of the same serving is almost half a gram making up the majority of the fat content, right? Because there's not a lot of fat in berries. And in addition to omega-3 fatty acid, black berries also contain no cholesterol and only one milligram of sodium per serving. Cholesterol is made nat natural in the body, folks. You don't have to eat cholesterol. And all these people are thinking, oh, the brain's made of cholesterol. I'm going to just eat all this cholesterol. They're just not that bright because cholesterol is made inside the body. Otherwise, you'd be dead. So, they're, they're, you know, unfortunately, this is not knocking people. I'm trying to educate. Just a lot of people don't have a lot of common sense. They don't. And a lot of you watching my videos are uh, intelligent people. You're liking them. You're, you're loving this information. You're moving forward. That's a different ballgame. But the generalization I'm, I'm making 
is the average person just read something, they hear something from a guru. The gurus usually don't have a lot of common sense. And I know this because I'm on the healing end of it, and I get the feedback from all of you, and I've experienced it myself, so I understand it. And not everyone's stupid, but a lot of gurus are just naive and it's the blind leaving the blind. It's a fact. So, you know, I, I've seen some of these comments from people that follow these gurus, and I'm just like, wow. Um, keep doing what you're doing, and you're not going to make any progress if you follow them. It's just the way it is. I don't know everything, but I can hands down blow away these gurus and what they're talking about because there's a healthy way, and then there's a, there's an uh, there's an unhealthy way, and I'm showing you folks the healthy way. So, uh, jam with fatty acids, as I just mentioned. Um, you know, this is berries. This is why I mentioned berries so much. Strawberries, the only thing with strawberries is they're a little more on the acidic side. They're an acid fruit, so they can cause more pain in the beginning, pulling acids out of the body, hence mouth ulcers, mouth sores. So keep that in mind. Uh, blue, which is uh, blueberries, is definitely going to have them as well. So you can't go wrong with the berries. So sorry to spend so much time there on the berries. Let's go on the dragon fruit. Got a lot of questions on dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Uh, seed contains omega-3 and omega-9. There you go. So, you know, berries may contain a lot of omega-3, but they got the omega-6 too. So keep that in mind. So now you're getting omega-3, 6, and 9 just from two types of foods. Berries and dragon fruit. Dragon fruit seasonal. It goes till um, November. So I'm a big, big fan of dragon fruit. I do all three types. There's the white flesh, the red purplish, and then there's uh, another whiter flesh that's sweeter. It comes from like a yellow fruit. So... Dragon fruit is fantastic. Uh, if you have a local Chinatown near you, you can get dragon fruit or any Asian grocery store. Very easy to get. Whole Foods does sell one type. I believe it's the red one. So, you know, keep that in mind. And other health food stores will have them too. And as I mentioned before, Safeway will even have the white one. So, uh, dragon fruit's not that hard to get. Alright, so the seeds in in uh, dragon fruits are kind of like kiwi, so the seeds are really beneficial. In a lot of fruits, you want to avoid the big seeds. Uh, they can be somewhat poisonous. Uh, you'd have to cook them. And again, if I got to cook something and take uh, to reduce poison or take it out, then obviously that's not something I'm going to do. So it's up to you if you want to do that. But this is different. Kiwis, you can eat the seeds. Uh, natural little seed, tiny seeds that are in fruits are okay. I'm talking about the big seeds. So. Um, that's not something that I'm a big fan of. Uh, do, so again, just going to tell you, don't be put off by the seeds. They're nutritional, and that's very true. And you're going to get these omega-3 uh, and you know, omega-9. Uh, omega so let's take a look at bananas. Bananas have it too. Very small amount. Omega-3 and omega-6. And bananas are not genetically modified. I'll do a video on that eventually, but uh, bananas have had this cultivation for, you know, going back 7,000 years. So, of course, red bananas are going to be the ones that have been around the longest, but any banana that's ripe with spots, organic or even non-organic, is, is going to be beneficial. I use them as fillers, put them at the bottom of my bowl, so if I don't finish something and I'm full with 8 pounds of fruit or 7 pounds of fruit, whatever it is I'm eating, I'm not wasting a whole lot because I'm paying a quarter a piece or 20 cents a piece, whatever it is, for the banana. So it's not a huge deal. Um, the primary bulk of what costs a lot is the dragon fruit and the berries. Uh, dates are pretty inexpensive. They don't have a lot of um, uh, omegas, but they're still very healthy. Oh, sorry about that, folks. And uh, as you can see here, the berries are going to be... Uh, really great tasting, especially if, at, if you add a little bit of sea salt. So there you have it, folks. Uh, this is my take on omega-3, um, 6, and 9, which you can get from the berries, the dragon fruit, and even some bananas. But don't keep the bulk of your diet in bananas because, as you can see, you're not getting a lot. You're getting everything else from the berries, the dragon fruit. Uh, even the dates have a lot more potassium. Uh, even though bananas have it. So it's all a combination, folks. And uh, it, it, again, if you have any other questions, let me know. But if you're just asking basic questions, the first video you watch, just go through my channel when you click on it. It's like a library. It's full full 
of information and packed with titles that are going to give you uh, what you need to look at and what's going to be on your mind and uh, what is you know your uh, mo most interested in at that time. So go ahead and view those and they'll, they'll address a lot of questions. Other than that, you can always leave a question. I'll do my best to try to respond. Thank you so much, folks. Bye-bye.